Guam Police Department officers Lieutenant Mark Torrey and Gregory Garcia are two of 17 trainees in the GPD Special Weapons and Tactics Academy, Cycle 9, that started on Monday. The experience has been incredible. The uh, demands, of course, have been incredible, but it's what has been expected uh, from the get-go. Each one of us, prior, prior to assuming this, um, this training, uh, we had to, under, we, we had to, it was made clear that it was going to be tough. It was not going to be easy. According to the trainees, Wednesday morning was a typical day of PT at Eagles Field in Mengilau. Pretty basic yesterday in terms of the, um, the, the types of workouts we were doing. Nothing new to anybody. The training, however, sent a fellow GPD officer to Naval Hospital, where he remains in critical condition. As we reported yesterday, the 49-year-old officer has been with the force for the last 17 years. As soon as I completed my uh, exercise, I got up and I noticed that you know uh, someone was laying on the the ground, and then um, you know that's when I noted noted that something happened with the uh, you know with the fellow trainee. Hours later, a second GPD trainee would also be sent to the hospital for possible dehydration. And a third trainee Thursday morning, this time a probation officer who is also being treated for possible dehydration. As we reported on Wednesday, Chief of Police Fred Bordalio confirms an investigation has been launched. Despite the investigation, however, Police Commander Colonel Maurice Sayama says trainings will continue for the remaining seven weeks as planned. Ultimately, SWAT graduates are the most elite and most advanced in tactical exercises. It's training that's been done um, many, many years and many, many cycles uh, past. It's not something that's just created. And so with that said, uh, assured us that the training is, is not detrimental to, to uh, anyone, uh, to put anyone into some harm. It's, it's, train, it's training to get them into uh, the state of condition that they need to be in to respond to uh, call outs that require SWAT uh, operators. As for the three separate incidents, Sayama says each person is different, but confirms all SWAT trainees met the physical requirements to enroll in the cycle. Everybody gets uh, takes physical training a little bit differently. Their bodies are different. Uh, these folks are afforded. They've been instructed to take uh, to hydrate whenever possible at home, uh, before, uh, during training. So they have they carry with them their their liquids. So it's just it's just a matter of uh, you know what your body tells you. Prior to enrolling, each SWAT candidate was required to complete a physical fitness qualification test. The test includes running a mile in less than eight minutes, 56 push-ups and 43 sit-ups in a minute each, and six pull-ups. That's in addition to getting clearance from a doctor, indicating any medical conditions that may exist. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.